important that volunteers keep on coming out so that it keeps consistency for the children here because they get used to having volunteers working with them and I think it's good that they continue and having a bit of a Western influence as well maybe on them. I also think volunteers should come out because I think they'll gain a lot from it themselves if they come out and they can experience it for themselves and especially living with the host families is a really good way because you experience life in general in Africa. A few of my friends are working in the orphanages and they seem to really enjoy it. They spend their days generally playing with the children. Sometimes they do a little bit of teaching as well with the younger children. And I suppose the day they start off by going in, they feed them breakfast and then play for a while. Then they maybe do a little bit of teaching again. Then they have to do a lot of washing as well, like washing the clothes. And then the older children come home from school and they start playing with those. And then the day just really goes in a bit of a circle, so it's sort of feeding, playing, teaching, and then it carries on. But they seem to really enjoy it, it's good. You can also work in medical clinics and hospitals. When you're actually in the hospitals and seeing them, it's a very, very different experience from when the Western world, where everything's very clean and there's lots of medicine, lots of facilities. When you're here, it's very, very different and there's lots and lots of people waiting to be seen and not as clean and everything as you expect it to be. I've just spent one day today and I'll spend the next four weeks as well teaching going around different schools and teaching about AIDS and HIV awareness. You did not know that anything was on my hand and I was shaking hands. So it's showing you that through needles and through sexual intercourse, how quickly a disease can spread, okay? I'm teaching in a, in a JSS, which is a junior secondary school, um, which is basically for age 11 to 15, um, although they're in classes due to their ability, not their age. Energetically. Energetically. Again, energetically. Energetically. Initially, I wanted to work in a kindergarten because I was worried that standing up in front of 14-year-olds, if I did that at home, they'd have no respect for a 19-year-old. I'm only five years older than them. But here, I stand up in front of the class and they all listen and love to hear anything I have to say. So I enjoyed it so much and I get so much feedback from the kids that I didn't want to leave. My two favourite things about being in Africa is the first one is the children because I think the children make the experience for you and they're so friendly and welcoming that you can't really ever feel sad when the children are around. And I think the second one would have to be the host family because they do make a lot of the experience for you and because they're so welcoming as well. It makes you experience Africa properly and you're seeing the real Africa rather than staying in a hotel or a hostel or something. And also the sunshine. <laughs> I think I've changed whilst being here that when I get home I won't take things for granted quite so much. Whereas at home you take for granted that there's going to be running water, there's going to be electricity every night. And whilst being here it's taught you that you can still live quite happily without having running water. You don't need electricity every night. You just get used to a different way of life and I think it'll make me appreciate the smaller things maybe a little bit more as well.